morning, Sparrows Point Middle School. Today is Tuesday, February 23rd, and it is a B-Day. My name is Kiara. And my name is Cindy. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. We would like to wish a happy birthday to Lola M. and Miss Kane. The weather today is 45 degrees and rainy. There will be intramurals, intramurals tomorrow after school in the middle school gym. Open gym will begin right after school until 3.45. Any student with a permission slip is welcome to attend. Order your yearbook today. There is a limited supply of books. Don't be left without a yearbook. 64 colorful pages of all your friends and the great memories from this school year. $26 in school. Give your orders to Miss Ryan in the cafeteria each morning. Save money. Order online. SAG Club will meet t tomorrow. Again, SAG Club will meet tomorrow. Listen up, pointers. Third quarter, it's time to show your pride by coming to school. This quarter, incentive, this quarter, the incentive will be based on attendance. Beginning today, any student who has perfect attendance for an entire week will be entered into a weekly drawing to win different prizes, including school, store, coupons, homework passes, gift cards, and other cool stuff. Prizes will be drawn on Monday during morning announcements for students who had perfect attendance the, the week before. You must be present and on time to collect your prize. We will also be having a competition between homerooms <laughs> and weekly rounds. The winning homerooms will earn a pizza party at the end of the, the tournament. Multiple ways to win, but you've got to be here every day. Spurs Point Spirit Wear on sale now through March 8th. Get a flyer form from your homeroom teacher or see Donia Perry. Art Club will meet on Thursday. Students who need to finish art projects may stay after today and Thursday. Recycle Art Club is canceled today. Attention all boys soccer players. There will be a boys soccer meeting today at 3 o'clock in the cafeteria. All interested middle and high school soccer players are welcome to attend. And, to, and now a video on a... <sighs> and today's little known fact about black history is a video on George Washington Carver. That's what the high school's named after. Education is the key to unlock the golden door of freedom, George Washington Carver said, and he would know. Though born a slave, Carver learned to read and write from his master's wife. Later, after abolition, he couldn't go to the local white school and so had to walk 10 miles to the nearest school he could attend. After finishing high school, Carver was accepted to college, only to be turned away when he showed up for classes and they realized he was black. So he went elsewhere to earn not only a bachelor's degree, but also his master's degree in botany, the study of plants. From there, Booker T. Washington selected Carver to run the Tuskegee Institute's agricultural department, where he would do his greatest work. As he said, education is the key to unlock the golden door of freedom. Carver realized that cotton farming was taking all the nutrients from the soil and that the boll weevil could come in and wipe out crops in entire states, so he found other crops farmers could plant to return nutrients to the soil. He not only taught farmers to rotate their cotton crops with sweet potatoes, peanuts, soybeans, and other plants, he famously devised over 300 uses for peanuts, everything from medicine to massage oil. Carver also said that when you do the common things in life in an uncommon way, you will command the attention of the world. And his life and work demonstrated his uncommon scientific genius in such a way that he did indeed command the attention of the world. Thanks for watching. I'm Kiara. And I'm Cindy. Remember to have pride in all that you do, Spires Point.